Hey everybody, how's life treating ya? I'm Russ Robo, and welcome back to Robot Arena 2, Tournament of Robotic Destruction, or Champions. Um, this is going to be the StarCore AI 2.0 mod pack. We're going to actually uh, run the lightweight tournament a little bit differently this time. It turns out that each team, as you can see here, has three lightweights of their very own. Each one does, but only one of those lightweights can represent their team in the following tournament. So what we'll be doing is an elimination type tournament where we have the three lightweights of each team face off against each other in an elimination style bout. Each team will have one chance to decide who is going to win that match and represent their team in the lightweight tournament. It's a uh, uh, free for all, three on three, uh, winner takes all. I'll write down the name of the winner and that person will move on to the actual lightweight tournament and represent their team. The first team up is Spin Doctors. After that, we've got Alien Invasion, The Pit, Secom Security Services, Three Billy Goats Gruff, and so on and so on, etc, etc. We'll run for about maybe 30 or 40 minutes and see how many teams make it past. And then we'll um, find out who's going to represent their team. So without further ado, ah, let's get it started. And I've actually selected the Battle Box Arena for the lightweight tournament, or at least the elimination rounds. So without further ado, let's get right down to it. And uh, luckily, my buddy James told me how to activate the follow mode camera. So this time we should have some better angles. Double tap that F3, and here we go. Oh, follow mode. It's called the action cam. All right. We've got Tempest Fugit, AW Logic Probe, and, Gravi and BW Gravitron up against each other. It looks like... Oh, man. Uh, it, it looks like... Uh, who's got the most... Wow, Tempest Fugit's got the most points. He's racking it up with over 3,000 right now. He's got some good weapons there. He's trying to push. I think that's... Oh, AW Logic Probe has been destroyed. And Gravitron has been destroyed. So Tempest Fugit ones, uh, ones, won that one. Uh, I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. And we're back. In this round, we have Team Alien Invasion. Drone versus AW Chestburster versus BW Facehugger. So, without further ado, let's set these bots up and get this match started. And we're off. Looks like we got a quick start off for AW Chestburster or BW Facehugger. I get them confused. I'm still learning the names of these bots in this tournament, so that'll be interesting too. But it's fun to watch. Ooh, that one's fast. Whoa, looks like somebody's already been taken out. Is that the final hit on him? Yep. AW Chestburster is out. So now we've got BW Facehugger versus Drone. So now I, I can actually tell which one is which. But ooh, Drone almost gets hit by the hammer. And it looks like BW Chestburster is getting bounced back and forth between the hazards, the spikes, and ooh, there's a heavy hit from the ha hammer. And it looks like um, BW Chestburster is about to be destroyed by the arena hazards. Or maybe it's going to be Drone. And it looks like it was BW Facebuster. <laughs> Fa face Hugger, excuse me. Ch chest Burster, Face Hugger, all these names, crazy. Drone actually won that one, so he'll be representing his team in the official lightweight tournament. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. And we're back. This time we've got Team The Pit. Pop Tart versus AWVR Rhino versus BW Bird of Prey. Do all the teams have, I wonder, do all the teams have that AW and BW thing going on? I wonder. We'll find out later on. But without further ado, let's get these bots set up to go. We got the action cam on. Looks like AV Rhino is lining up for a shot, but... Oh, okay, he does have a main weapon. It's a sort of down-swinging spike. Bird of Prey. He's taking a lot of chassis damage already. Pop-Tart's spinning out. He's on his top. Actually, I think that might be... No, that's Bird of Prey. Bird of Prey's on his top. Ooh, he's getting torn up by the Sauls. So it's VR Rhino versus Pop-Tart right now. They're both shoving each other. Oh, and Bird of Prey is back on its uh, right side up. Dealing heavy damage with those spikes. Looks like Pop-Tart's been taken out, and VR Rhino is out as well. Bird of Prey moves on to represent his team in the official 
lightweight tournament. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, and we're back, this time with Team SICOM Security Services, with Sentinel Observer versus A.W. Halt Who Goes There versus B.W. None Shall Pass. So without further ado, let's get these bots set up. Now, you'll have to forgive me. This tournament is meant to be, or at least this part of the elimination tournament, is meant to be fast and furious so that we can find out who's going to officially represent their team in the official lightweight tournament. So I'll probably just put some heavy rock music on and, you know, just just do as many teams as I possibly can in one day. And I might even uh, have like a, a clip where uh, instead of uh, doing my regular outro, I just cut it and then and then do a, an outro separately from the regular video. But we've got, it looks like None Shall Pass has lost a wheel. Uh, he can't move properly right now, but he doesn't really need to. He just needs to get some good strikes with that axe. Sentinel Observer is dealing some really heavy damage, taking both of the tires. But he's being held back by that axe now, which has now been eliminated. And None Shall Pass is literally just a box torn up by the saws. Takes another hit. Those spikes spin really fast. Wow. <laughs> nice. Uh, since there are 37 teams, I'll probably do about... I'd say 10 teams per episode, and that'll give me plenty of time to actually make my lightweight entry for the tournament itself, which of course I won't have to fight myself in a 3 versus 3 match because I'll only have one lightweight, and you can't fight yourself. So, uh, we got SECOM Security Services Sentinel Observer as the match winner. I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. Alright everybody, we're back. Oh, wait, no we're not. <laughs> I need to get the teams going. <laughs> Whoopsie! Whoopsie poopsie! <laughs> Nailed it, first try. Oh! <laughs> In this round, we've got Billy Goat Scruff versus A.W. Billy the Kid and B.W. Billy Goat... Billy Goat Ruffy. Er. And of course, this is the three Billy Goat Scruff team. Okay, it looks like uh, Billy Goat Gruff is um, the larger one with the uh, spinning spikes. They've all got uh, exposed uh, motors, though, for their main weapons, or at least the two of them. Two of them do. Um, the little guy is just a box with spikes, and he's lost a wheel. He's getting crushed, and they're all getting torn up by the saws. It looks like he's going to be in big trouble pretty soon if he doesn't get off of those uh, saw blades. But I don't think he's got much of a chance right now. Ooh, and a strong hit from the spikes on one of the billy goats there. Um, luckily, they are all... Ooh, and some spikes missing from uh, one of the billy goats there as it gets uh, eliminated. Billy goat's roughiest, I think, is the one with the spinning spikes with uh, 2,318 points. Ooh, another, hit, uh, another heavy hit from the spikes, and they seem to be very effective at who pushing the, uh, the bots that they hit into other arena hazards. I absolutely love that. <clears throat> Hammer coming down, about to eliminate one of the bots. Uh, I believe that is Billy Goat Ruffy. Yep, he's uh, almost taken out now. Probably, oh, there he goes. And the winner is Billy Goat Ruff. So that's pretty cool. Uh, he will be officially representing his team in the actual lightweight tournament with over 2,430 points. So I'll get that written down, and we'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're back, and this time we've got the Orbital Launch Team with Suborbital versus AW Launch Platform Zero versus BW Stratosphere. So let's see who will actually win this round and go on to represent their team in the official lightweight tournament. The buzzer signals the start of the match. Indeed it does. Looks like suborbital, uh, suborbital is getting pushed onto the spikes right now. And I believe Stratosphere is being pinned down, right, or uh, he's pinning down, uh, let's see, uh, launch platform zero. Uh, we're getting a count out here, seven seconds, six. Oh, come on, you're a flipper. You've got a Shremek right there. Flip yourself back over. Wait a minute, why? He had big enough tires. Why didn't he just move? Launch Platform Zero is out. It's down between Suborbital and Stratosphere. Uh, Stratosphere appears to be stuck, uh, unable to self-right himself, even though he has the proper equipment. Uh, Suborbital is, with zero points, still actually probably going to win just because um, 
it looks like Stratosphere is unable to self-right at this time, even with uh, three paddles. Uh, this could go on for a while, so I might just uh, skip to the end because this is starting to look kind of inappropriate, actually. <laughs> All right, with just three seconds left on the clock, it looks like this match is going to... BW Stratosphere. Okay, I just wanted to make sure since I'm still learning the uh, names of the bots and the differences between them. And ironically enough, he was actually the only one with any points. So I'll get that written down and we'll be right back with the next match. Alright everybody, we're back and this time we've got Team Jabberwocky with Jub Jub Bird versus AW Vorpal Bunny. <laughs> I like that one. And versus BW Slithery Tove. So Jub Jub Bird, Vorpal Bunny, and Slithery Tove. Okay, I got it. Slithery like a green snake. Uh, Jub Jub Bird, just the random guy, like maybe a bird there. And then of course Vorpal Bunny, you can tell him because of the bunny. Still still learning the teams, but without further ado, let's get this match going. Da -da. Man, I, I, I love that action cam. It makes this tournament. It makes this whole thing possible. Uh, we got um, Slithery Tove getting torn up by the um, Saul's there, getting some good hits in, uh-oh, on Jub Jub Bird, but Jub Jub Bird is now, uh, uh he, he was flipped up down, upside down there for a minute, and it looks like, um, Slithery Tove has lost his main weapon, he's just a box now, uh, Vorpal Bunny can take advantage of this situation because, uh, looks like Jub Jub Bird is unable to self-right, pushes him over the Spike's Pits, Spike Pit deals lots of damage, er, Spike Pit, the Buzzsaw Blades, Vorpal Bunny, uh, pretty much in control right now. Uh, <laughs> I'm glad he's actually winning. Um, unless Jub Jub Bird can actually self-right, it looks like it's going to go to Vorpal Bunny. I don't know why he's not using his main weapon to simply self-right. He's about to be counted out, and there it goes. It's down to Vorpal Bunny versus uh, Slithery Tove right now. Uh, Slithery Tove, of course, doesn't really have much of a way to win. Um, Vorpal Bunny can't be flipped over because he has wheels that are greater than the diameter of his bot, so he can uh, actually, he's, um, what, what's that called? Not self-riding. Um, uh, uh, there, there's a word for it. He's um, invertible. Uh, Vorpal, Bu uh, Vorpal Bunny is invertible. Uh, the Vorpal Bunny is invertible. Try saying that three times fast. Um, Slithery Tove is basically just pushing him around right now. Uh, Vorpal Bunny has, let me turn my face cam off, 418 points. Uh, so, oh wait, he, Slithery Toad actually could win this. Vorpal Bunny needs to turn around and actually hit him with the spikes. I, I can't believe this. Is, is this going to go on for another, is this going to go on for a minute and actually see Slithery Toad win just through point count alone as Vorpal Bunny just apparently cannot, I mean, turn, man. You've got the turning radius. Come on. Good. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. You can do I believe in you. I mean, I'm just fine with seeing uh, uh, Slithery Tove go through this as well. Uh, go through to the end to represent his team. But I, I kind of feel bad that, you know, there's no technical reason that Vorpal Bunny should actually lose this. I mean, he's got he's got the means. You've got you've you've destroyed the weapon on you've destroyed the main weapon of your opponent. Um, or at least somebody did. I'm not sure who destroyed, uh, Vorpal, um, so, excuse me, Slithery Tove's main weapon. I'm not sure who destroyed it, but, um, yeah, uh, I might have to let this one go to the judges, um, let the audience decide who, uh, who wins this one, because, uh, what do you guys think? Should it go to Vorpal Bunny or Slithery Tove? I'll have to watch the, and, and now he finally turns. It's too late now, buddy. It's too late now. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I'll let you guys decide. Uh, um, there's probably only going to be like one or two votes, but just uh, let me know who you think uh, should go on to the next round because uh, that one was kind of, uh, eh, eh, you know, I'm, I'm really not feeling Vorpal Bunny's uh, performance in that one. As soon as he turned around, he just like, you know, kept getting pushed. But um, I'll just write down audience decision uh, for the name and then I'll be right back with the next match. All right, everybody, we're back, and this time with Team The Sheep Squad. Battering Ram versus A.W. The Shepherd versus B. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing. 
So without further ado, let's get this match started. Doop doop, action cam. If I had to give it to anybody, I might give it to Battering uh, Battering Lamb, just because um, he's got more spikes. More spikes. More spikes is more damage. Uh, Wolf in Sheep's Clothing is actually easily recognizable, as well as the Shepherd, pretty easily recognizable, you know. So I'm starting to learn the names of the teams and the robots. Ooh, a heavy hit on the hammer from uh, Battering Lamb. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing pushing the Shepherd up against the Arena Spikes. And unfortunately, he appears to have lost a tire to the Battering uh, Lamb. Battering Lamb keeping the Shepherd pushed up against the Arena Spikes. An Arena Countdown going for Wolf in Sheep's Clothing, but it looks like he might be able to counteract it. Uh, just, yep, there it is, by just moving a little bit more. Uh, we've got some heavy damage on Battering Lamb. Uh, oh, it looks like um, the Shepherd has lost a wheel now. And the other wheel is gone as well. Wolf in Sheep's Clothing with 2,555 points. Battering Lamb with 3,875. So he's definitely dominating this match. Uh, looks like one more hit on the she or, um Yeah, the Shepherd, and uh, he'll probably be taken out. He's getting an immobility warning right now. Immobility warning. Oh, is, um, the, is uh, the Battering Lamb actually stuck on the spikes? He appears to be stuck on the arena spikes. He better move, move, move. Oh, my goodness. Are you kidding me? Oh, come on. He totally dominated that match. He got stuck on the arena spikes. Uh, uh, I'm going to let you guys decide again. Uh, what do you think? Should it go to Wolf in Sheep's Clothing? Because, uh, I mean, that's the official decision by the game. But he spent, like, half the match after he lost his tire just spinning around in, sh uh, in circles. And uh, Battering Lamb pretty much dominated that match with the the more damage because, you know, hashtag more spikes. Um, so I'm going to do what I did in the last round and just write the word judges and leave it up to you guys. Uh, that's match number eight, just in case you needed to know. So match number seven and match number eight, I'm just going to write judges decision or just the word judges. And we'll be back with the last two rounds and I'll be right back. All right, everybody, we're back. And this time with team Skynet. Ariel HK versus AWT125 Burger Flipper. Man, what a name. Versus the BW Mini Hunter. So, without further ado, let's see what these robots are all about. Tap, tap. Awesome. I always go. say that because you gotta double tap the F3 button in order to get the uh, action cam working, but I love action cam. It's amazing. Um, all three of these bots appear to be. No, no, they're not all three invertible. Um. I think Ariel HK is not invertible. Ooh, a heavy hit from Ariel HK on uh, BW Mini Hunter. Uh, Mini Hunter is... Does that actually say Burger King on the bottom of that bot? I'm going to have to blur him out. <laughs> uh, but um, with those hammers, I would think that um, Ariel HK would actually... Ooh! Um, be able to win this round. Those hammers are at high spinning speeds. And... Um, Air, um, Mini Hunter is being oh. torn up by the... Whoa! And he's gone! He's gone! Woo! Bye-bye! Holy crap, he's gone. Uh, yeah, it's over. Jesus Christ. Uh, home run for Ariel HK. Uh, no judge's decision necessary there. He will go on to officially represent his team in the lightweight match. I'll get that written down. I'll be right back. Hey, everybody. How's life treating you? I'm Russell... Wait. That's the intro. <laughs> wow. All right, and we're back with the Team Borg Collective this time. With Eagle Borg Scout versus A.W. Borg... Borgarette. <laughs> I was going to say Borgrito. A.W. Borgrito versus B.W. Gravitic Mind. So without further ado, let's get this match started. Oh, tap, tap. There we go. We All right, go. so let's see... Eagle Borg Scout is the little guy. A.W. Borgette seems to be the one with the uh, the spikes. And then Gravitic Mind seems to be the one who is going crazy right now. Um, sort of um, uh, just flying off to wherever. Let's see now. He, he looks... I, I think I'd have to give it to B.W. Gravitic Mind. Ooh! And there goes the main weapon for, I believe, A.W. Borgette. 
Or is AW Borgette the big one? Um, Eagle AW Borgette, I think, has lost a uh, tire. Who's got the most points? Eagle Borg Scout has the most points. That got that's got to be him with all those with all those spinning weapons. It's got to be him. I think he's gonna win. Ooh yeah, 2,671, 2,790. Yeah, that's him definitely. Uh, he's gonna win this. Woo, way up to 3,000. Uh, he's just gonna knock out the other two. Ow, what a hit! This is that's a good one. That's a good hit. Uh, looks like he's got his spin up to full spinning speed. This is gonna be big. Ooh, a heavy hit. And another good driving by Eagle Borg Scout. 4,333 points as the match winner. He will go on to officially represent his team in the lightweight tournament. I'll get that written down and we'll be right back. Wait. Ten teams. Oh, well I guess we won't be right back. That's all for today. Uh, we'll do the next ten teams uh, tomorrow. And um, let's see, I guess that will be the Friday... Uh, Third, uh, Friday or Sunday upload. It's got to be one of those uploads. Uh, we'll get that going, uh, and we'll have uh, up to 20 teams then. And then we'll do the next 10. That'll be 30. And then the last 7. And that'll be all 37 teams. But I had a lot of fun uh, recording this um, recording this uh, tournament uh, with the AI... Um, with the StarCore AI pack, uh, I really like these robots. They're very inventive. I'm going to exit out real quick so that I can do my outro uh, aside from the crowd um, like yelling at the top of their lungs. Um, but that was actually really fun. Uh, let's see. i got to get that written down, though. Eagle Borg Scout. Okay, one second. Okay, now that I have that written down, uh, I'm glad that you could join me for this next tournament. I guess this is like a season three of the Tournament of Robotic Champions. Let me know if you have any suggestions for future series or any suggestions for the tournament. Let me know who you think uh, should go uh, to the uh, ne uh, to the next round or uh, who won uh, match number seven and match number eight with uh, Team Jabberwocky and Team The Sheep Squad. Uh, because those matches were actually uh, pretty close, or s sort of like, nah, you know, kind of like, kind of like, eh, you know, it could have went either way, you know. But um, let me know what you thought in the comment section below. And until next time, take it easy, my friends.